everyone welcome or welcome back we are going to go ahead and give my club a good edit since we kind of have a sneak peek of what's going to be coming back for fall and winter of 24 starting september 1st so i'm going to go ahead and pull the bars that i had tucked away in case they didn't come back for the fall and winter of this season and then add in some bring back my bars since today is the 26th, Bring Back My Bar is ending at the very end of July. So come August 1st, none of the Bring Back My Bars will be available. So I just wanted to go ahead and take out some things that will be coming back and make room to add some Bring Back My Bars and some other promotions that are going on. So we will go ahead and scroll through. Um, I do want to get this down a little bit. It was a bit higher, but I had already removed some stuff a couple months ago. So we will see. I do have a quarterly club, so it does only ship every three months. So I do tend to push it out a lot as well. So I usually only get <clears throat> probably two, sometimes the full three shipments a year. But these are just scents that I always love to have on hand. You know, I am somebody who melts both Scentsy and Vendor. So I'm trying to get more into the mindset of if I find a scent is something that is similar to something I could get in Vendor, I shouldn't have it in my club. I really want to keep scents in my club that I know I reach for and that I'll definitely work through and that are unique. If you're new here, hi and welcome. I am a Scentsy consultant, so if you ever need any help with anything, I'll leave my link in the description box. Feel free to reach out to me for suggestions on fragrances, warmers, products, whatever you need. I'd be so happy to help you. But let's keep going here. So first we have Crumb Top. This is saying, I love this one. It's a great blender. I love melting it on its own. It's just fabulous. It's a great performer. It is basically, it smells like the top of a crumb cake or a coffee cake, like that brown sugar, cinnamon. It's sweet. It's bakery. It's delicious. And it's, you can mix this with anything and it does so well. Mediterranean Spa. This is just a beautiful, fresh, slightly aquatic kind of fresh air spa type scent really like this one I think these both were from January of 23 bring back my bar Th those are both staying woodland suede is one of my favorite bars of all time that I've tried a beautiful kind of woodsy bedroom type fragrance but it also has this beautiful masculine warm undertone from the suede it's just gorgeous love that graham cracker crunch this is delicious it is more of like a creamy peanut butter bakery scent to me. I don't necessarily get straight up graham cracker, but it is a good scent. So I'm going to keep it for now because I do tend to warm through this one. Ghostly Greetings. This is so unique. I really like this one. It's like a spiced dark plum sort of scent. I'm going to keep this in for now. I'm going to see how much I reach for this, this fall season. And if I find myself not gravitating towards it, I'll pull it towards the end of fall. Pacific Mist. This was June 2023 scent of the month. I really like this one. Again, I am somebody who does gravitate more towards those beachy aquatic type scents. So this is something that I absolutely love. I do like this one on its own or I like to alternate it with fruity scents. You know, when one warmer do a fruity scent, another warmer do Pacific Mist. I really enjoy that. Frightfully Delightful. I'm not sure if this one's coming back. This was a licensed bar from last fall. It's pumpkin peach and brown sugar you guys I didn't think I would like this bar because the combination of peach and pumpkin I just never would have imagined to put those two things together but it is really nice it has a sweet very authentic peach and then just a raw kind of pumpkin and the brown sugar just does such a beautiful job at blending those together so this is one that I love and although I'm being very picky at what I keep in my club at this seven dollar price point with this being as unique as it is and how much I enjoy it, it's going to stay for now. Vanilla Barnwood. Vanilla Barnwood is coming back, so I am going to pull this. I do have several bars in my stash right now as well, but since it's coming back, I am going to take it out. Caramel Praline Cake is not coming back, at least in the main catalog. Maybe they'll bring it back as an LTO. So this is going to stay for now. Rum Pum Plum. I think this one was coming back. Yes, it is. I'm so glad they brought this one back. This was part of the holiday collection last year, and I guess it did really well with sales and for good reason. It's a really nice 
juicy plum and it does really nice with bakery also it does actually have like a bakery kind of flaky bakery pie crust tone to it so it is a nice bakery fruity i'm gonna remove it because it's coming back i am ecstatic that white pumpkin and driftwood is coming back this is beautiful it's like a white it white pumpkin but then it has like a beautiful fall spice like a like a cardamom kind of spice to it so i really like this one but since it's coming back obviously i'm gonna take it out and make room twilight this is one from the was it june no it was it was january 24 broom rack by bar this is a nice salty sea air and floral fragrance which i'm not a floral lover in the slightest but there's something about this bar the rose that's in here and how it blends with the salty sea air i love this one it's a great performer i know the scent is very controversial for some people it's very polarizing i should say you either love it or hate it but i am on the bandwagon of loving it so it's gonna stay for now toasted caramel sugar this is fantastic it kind of if you hear zola snoring she's literally laying under my laptop um anyway this is a beautiful burnt sugar type scent. You do get a little bit of caramel, but to me, this smells like the burnt sugar on the top of a creme brulee. I really like this one, so it's going to stay. Falling leaves. Oh, fall. I thought they put this in the catalog. That's falling apples. Um, this is a nice fall spice type fragrance. It has patchouli, cinnamon, clove. I like it. It's not super unique, but what does make it unique in that sense is that it has the patchouli. So I love that it has that kind of earthy vibe thrown in there. So I'm going to leave this and same thing with, um, which one was it? Same thing with ghostly greetings. If I find myself not really reaching for this this fall, then I'll pull it at the end of the season. Amaretto. This was a bring back my bar as well. I think these next few are bring back my bar from January 24. This is a powerhouse performer. It's beautiful. It's just very authentic amaretto. You kind of get that cherry leaning almond scent. Beautiful. I really like melting this if I'm melting like a coffee vendor wax or a coffee fragrance. I like to alternate with this, so it's going to stay. <laughs> Everything nice. I think I'm one of the very few people who actually enjoyed this scent. It's just I really like the pumpkin puree in here. It just is a great performer as well, so that's staying. Peony Petals, one of the very few florals that I can take, and I really like this one. This one's a very sweet kind of body care type of floral. I like it. Unfortunately, it's not the best performer, but then again, if this was a powerhouse, this might be something that would be a little too much for me to bear. So I do like this one. I love melting it in my bedroom or my uh, walk-in closet type area. It's just a very pretty, sweet, floral, feminine body care type fragrance not mature type floral in any sense it's not dry and powdery it's very sweet juicy bright floral so like that one another polarizing bar that i do enjoy is simply patchouli you guys if you're an earthy lover you need to get your hands on this this is a nice like very strong patchouli but it has almost like a dirt or a soil undertone to it I like it, and because of how unique it is, it's staying. Toasted apple butter. I want to say that I saw this was coming back in an LTO this fall or winter, so until I know for sure that it's coming back, I'm going to keep it. Same thing with Mint to be Merry. I think this was coming back in an LTO at some point. Um, let me see. Actually, oh, I can't move this. Oh, it's okay. Um, I think I have another... Oh, no, that's what was leaving at the end of July, so I'll look at that later. That is going to stay for now until I know whether or not it's coming back. Cinnamon pine cones. Oh, thank goodness. That one's coming back. Okay, so we could go ahead and pull this one. Cashmere and corduroy. That one's coming back. I think this is pretty much a staple for the fall and winter season, but again, you never know what Scentsy, what they're going to pull and want to replace with something new. So usually I just throw all of my loves in, in the club at the end of the season and just hope that they come back. But since it's coming back... Adios to that one. Arctic Kiss. Love this fragrance. So happy that's coming back. I was a little worried about it because it was in the laundry line. So I haven't been involved with Scentsy for too long, a couple years now. But from what I've heard from other consultants, if something is offered in like a laundry line or a cleaning product, there's a good chance that it might not come back, but it is. So 
that's coming out. Autumn Road Trip. That one's coming back. Again, this one I was a little worried about because it was offered in dish soap as an LTO. So I was like, I don't know if it's going to be coming back next year. So happy it is. It's a really nice apple and pear fragrance. Really enjoy that one in the fall time around the campfire. Oh, thank God. Okay. This one is one that I really enjoy as well. Just a beautiful, sweet and smoky fragrance. Great blender also, but it is coming back. So it's going to come out. Winterberry apple tea. That one's coming back. Just a really nice. I don't know if it's raspberry. It's just a really nice refreshing tea scent. Very snowy spruce. Thank God. This is my tree staple from Scentsy. Love it. I have a couple of bricks of it and I want to load up in it club as well. So I tucked it away for safekeeping. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you that it's coming back. Midnight Masquerade. This is from the Mardi Gras collection. You, this is super unique. It's a beautiful, smoky, sweet vanilla type fragrance. But then you get the little bit of Midnight Lily in there. Enjoy that one. That one's going to stay. Courage. This is from the Mother's Day collection. I do really enjoy this one. I did want to get a little bit of a stockpile of it. It's just a beautiful, perfumey, feminine fragrance with an undertone of amber. So, <laughs> oh my God, it's a little snoring so loud. But um, yeah, I enjoy this one. I want to get a little more of a stock of it. So I'm going to leave it in for now. I don't know where I was for this whole mental health collection. I totally missed the boat on this one. And I saw on the last day before it was going away that they were leaving. And I was like, what? Like, I didn't even get to try this. So I went ahead and just threw it in my club so I could get a, like a couple of each one. And then if I'm not thrilled with it, I'll just take them out. Black Tie Affair. This is from the current Father's Day collection. I really enjoy this one. It's a really nice vanilla tobacco fragrance that's staying in my club. I'm going to leave it at two for now. Um, and we'll see. Open Air Exploring. Eh, it's okay. I don't know that I need it in my club though. So I'm going to take it out for now. Day on the Field. I just melted this one last night. Actually, my fiance really liked this one. So that is going to stay for now. Get maybe another couple bars of it and then see what I want to do with it. Mint Fields. This one I think is currently out of stock. I went to go put it in an order that I wanted to place and it was out of stock. So I figured I would just throw a couple of bars in my club and when it ships, I'll get, you know, a little batch of it going. Seabreeze is another one that came and went as an LTO before I even got to try it. And I've heard such great things about it. Being that I am such an aquatic lover, I wanted to give this a try and I feel like I'll really enjoy it. So I didn't just want to get one bar and then have to wait three months to get another one. So I'll just get a little stockpile going and then probably decrease it to one afterwards. You know what? I feel like I could lower black tie affair to one for now. And then I do plan on placing one more order with some bring back my bars, the ones I'm not planning on clubbing. So we will drop that to one and maybe add one or two into my order that I'm going to place. So that's it. Okay. Um, 187. Not bad. We are going to go ahead now and go ahead and add some bring back my bars that I know I want to keep. So we're going to go to subscribe to more items. We are going to go to promotions. Sandalwood and cranberries. Absolutely not. Couldn't stand it. Couldn't even warm it. Surfer chick. Super light not worthy of a club spot in my opinion at all reggae sunset really like this one this one's gonna go in for now red delicious although i do really like this one as an apple option they are coming back with johnny appleseed in the fall catalog so i do still have a uh, apple option so i think this is one that i'm gonna grab a couple of bars of and then just let it go no Happy go lucky. Eh, it was pretty, but is it something I need to club? No. So I think this is another one in the same boat as Red Delicious. I'll grab a bar or two of it and then just be able to let it go. Dolce de Leche. I really liked this one. It was a really nice, strong caramel based bakery fragrance. I'm going to add this one for now. Coconut Citrus Parfait. Eh, it was okay. Not an absolute love. Apple Crush was a poor performer for me. Berry Bubble Blue. Yes, I really liked this one. A 
this was a nice, sweet kind of blue raspberry cotton candy fragrance. It was just delectable. You almost could just see the cotton candy in front of you being made on the stick. Love this one. Wild What a Melon. <sighs> I don't know about this one. I think this might just be one that I grab a couple of bars of and let it go. But part of me wants to FOMO Panic Club this. So maybe I'll just add it for now. And then if my club's out of control, I'll take it out. Lemon Lavender, Not a Love. Blackberry Meringue, I did like this one. This was one that pleasantly surprised me on warm. The spice totally dissipated and it was just a nice, sweet, juicy blackberry bakery. That one's going to go in my club for now. Sea Sun and Fun, absolutely. This was one of my favorites. This one I might actually put up to two and get a nice stock of it going and then maybe come a couple of shipments, I'll drop it down. But I loved this one. Beautiful, salty, sea air, beachy, sunscreen type scent. Haven't tried that one yet. Jam and Jubilee, haven't warmed that yet. I still need to warm this. I did not even buy the inside. Is this inside out collection? I didn't even buy it. I didn't buy this either. Ratatouille, I am going to buy a bar at some point and try it before it leaves. Let's see. I'm not really interested in any of these garden ones. Sunshine Mango, I don't even think I've tried this, honestly. Red Mangoes. Pineapple and golden and tropical orange. I do want to try this one. I think this is one that may be leaving at the end of July. Let me see here if I could get my what is leaving at the end of July. So yeah, Sunshine Mango. I didn't even get to try this one. Um, inside out's leaving, blackberry, raspberry, vanilla, the wish summer bloom happiness blooms i don't think this is leaving i think this might have been an error um but since i didn't get to try this i honestly do want to give it a go so i'm going to add one for now let's see eh, seven dollars a bar i could pass on all them i don't even know what i'm missing with any of these and i'm better off not knowing this is the summer collection, and I'm pretty sure, like I said, that that was an error. I don't think that's leaving right away. Black Tie Affair, these are already in my club. Water Lily and Bergamot, these are all from the summer collection. I still need to try these. I am so behind. These with the $7 price point, again, unless it's something that really pulls me in, I'm not even going to bother trying them because I don't want to fall in love with something that's $7 a bar. Wish I could live without that. Heirloom Rose, Soft Plumeria, I could live without those. I am excited to try this one. Coconut Daiquiri, really like this one. Gonna add that one. Buzzworthy as well. This is very unique. Love it. Farmer's Market. This is one I'm so torn on, you guys. It just wasn't a great performer for me, but then it's like I want to get a couple of bars and let them sit because it might surprise me. And it's unique. Like, Scentsy never comes out with scents like this. I'm going to add it for now and see what my total is. Breakfast blend, absolutely. I'm adding two. Love, love, love this one. Lime and sugar cane. It was nice. Not a love, so I can live without it. Highway run. Love this one. Sea salt mist. I think I might get a bar for now. This is another one that was a little light, but I did really like it. Dark Harbor, absolutely. Oh my God, this is getting out of control already. Berry's Jubilee, absolutely not. Shaka, I did like that one. I think that is everything that is going to be added for now. Oh my God, 17. Oh my God, this is out of control. Okay, this is going to go into my quarterly. Let's see what we're at now. So I'm adding Reggae, Dolce Leche, Berry Blue, Wild Watermelon. <sighs> sea Sun and Fun, Sunshine Mango, Coconut Daiquiri, Farmer's Market, Breakfast blend, highway run, sea salt mist, dark harbor, and shaka. Okay, let's see where we're at. Two seventy eight. So not bad, honestly. I like to keep my club under three hundred, which seems excessive, but. Like I said, depending on how my stock is going and what I need, I might even 
push this out. So I usually only get it about twice a year. Does that sound right? Yeah, twice a year, about twice or three times a year. Um, so that's fine for now. And then we do have to choose a half price item, which I don't even know what I would get at this point. Let's see what bricks are available. If anything's calling my name, Lord knows I don't need any more wax, but at $12 a brick, I mean, that's kind of hard to beat. Um, squeeze the day, jammy time. I actually have been on such a Luna kick lately. I kind of want to get a brick of Luna, but then Johnny Appleseed will be so nice to have for fall time. Uh, Blue Grotto I really like too. Let me see this for a second. I think this will be super nice to have for fall time. So maybe what I'll do is add the brick of Johnny Appleseed and then just not get any more Red Delicious. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think this will be a really nice thing to have for fall time. So that's my half price. Let's see what we're at now. Two ninety. So perfect. That'll put me right under the threshold of 300 especially once the time that taxes are added in so we're going to go ahead and update subscription i think that is it for now you guys so that is it again if i decide to make any more cuts which i don't think i will if anything i'll go ahead and add some summer bars but i'll do another club edit for that but that is everything, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and seeing what I was up to with this. And I'm sure we'll be chatting in the comments. If you have any Bring Back My Bars that you plan on clubbing at the end of the season or the end of July, I should say, let me know. I would love to know your thoughts. I'm sure we'll be chatting on the in the comments. Thank you again for watching. Take care. Bye.